It looks decadent out there and we do have some cold weather for you to wake up to this morning. Some 40s here on the valley floor, but we'll have not 38 for their morning low 34 in Delano. You see 20s still in Tatchby and Fraser Park and it's been there for several hours. So it's a chilly start to the morning and then later on today you're going to see those clear calm conditions. That high pressure still in control like it's been the last several days, sending the storm tracks well to our north. You're seeing some troughs coming through a little push of some high clouds, a little bit of a breeze this far south. So you see the temperature contour does dig in some slightly cooler air. So instead of 73 like yesterday, we're at 68 today. That's a drop of about five degrees helps to push out a little bit of pollution for a slight improvement in the air quality, but it stays in the moderate range and that's still about five degrees above average as we enjoy those upper 60s today. Back to the 70s tomorrow, you see a little bit of that warm air coming on shore and it lasts pretty much the same through Sunday. Then later on Sunday into Monday, another weak cold front coming clipping on by. So another round of breezes, another dip in temperatures. That 63 on President's Day is back on track for average. That's a seasonal February afternoon. And then we're right back up upper 60s and some low 70s back in that extended forecast. You see sunshine and dry weather across the board there. No precipitation in the forecast for the next 10 days. Kern River Valley, though, they love this forecast for whiskey flat days up there. Highs in the 60s, lows pretty much close to that 40 degree mark. Tatchby, Fraser Park, some 50s for you for the next week. Overnight lows close to freezing. But again, this is above average for you, even though it's much cooler than we're experiencing in the valley or desert locations. Now for our roadways, uh, last check with a CHP officer.